Last year in 2021, I went through a very bad season in my life and it seemed unfair that my life had taken that turn because I felt like I was just too young to be experiencing that. Um, I was laying down taking a nap and I seen a dark entity, but I jumped up and um, I shrugged it off as just a dream. Uh, little did I know that I would be desiring death more than life which was not normal because prior to that incident, I loved life. And um, others around me were telling me that the anxiety and mental oppression that I was experiencing was due to my lack of trust in God. And although I didn't trust God as my heart wished it did, but I knew that it was something more and what I was experiencing was beyond my control. A uh, fear gripped me so bad, I felt like I was suffocating in my own body. And I knew I needed to be delivered. I knew I needed God's touch. And um, I did search earnestly to be delivered. I searched for a church that was operating under the Holy Spirit. I didn't find anything in my reach. Um, but when I was going through Google, I found Reverend Ani's ministry. And I seen really good reviews about her. So um, I was really comforted with that. And I knew I needed to speak to her. So um, shortly after I attended one of her teachings, I requested for individual counseling and I was able to tell her what I was experiencing and she informed me that although God can deliver me instantly, sometimes it's a process and I really didn't want to hear that. I was like, I need to be delivered immediately. I needed a change immediately. But um, God revealed to me through Deuteronomy 32 11 that like an eagle that stares up its nest and flutters its young, catching them, bearing them on its pinions. I did search the meaning of it and it comforted me knowing that sometimes God can cause a person to leave their nest, their comfort in place, um, but he would never let them hit the ground. He is just leading and guiding them the whole way, just like a bird does to its young, you know, to teach them how to fly. Um, I went through the first session and although it felt good, to get things off of my chest. I didn't feel much of a difference, um, but I did decide to continue week after week, and I'm so thankful that I did, um, because one of the issues I had was I was having a lot of sex dreams, and um, I told her um, about it, and we went through the, the deliverance, and I just stopped having those dreams, and I haven't had one since. So thank you, Jesus Christ. And it seemed like every time I had a session, I would feel lighter, and I would have more hope and um, things were getting better. I just, praise be to God that things got better. And I found myself enjoying even the simple moments again and just thanking God for every moment that I was in. Um, I have lived with anxiety and fear for years and it took a toll on my nervous system. But through this ministry, um, I know that I'm being made new from the inside out, which is um, it is a process, but it's permanent. And I knew that the Holy Spirit was directing Reverend Annie because I, she told me things that I never even told her. And I didn't know it was a problem, but I was broken free from those things. And um, all of this happened without me physically having to be in the same place with her. So I know that it's true. There's no distance in the spirit. Nobody had to lay hands on me or anything. Um, however, I was even more blessed when I was able to attend a woman's retreat. And although I dealt with a lot of rejection wounds, which was identified through counseling with her, um, I was nervous about being around people that I didn't know. Um, but I thank God that I did go for whatever he wanted to do in me. And I was pretty amazed at how peaceful and at home I felt. All of the women there carried a gentleness to them and the fruit of the Holy Spirit was very evident in them. Um, I was able to go deeper with God through praise, worship, and the workshops and activities that we did. And I did get delivered from fear. Thank you, God. And um, I had words, prophetic words spoken over me, and I did receive confirmation of those words, which was mind-blowing to me because um, it's one thing that knowing, well, believing that God is real, but to know that God is real is so much more powerful and so much more greater. So I just thank God for allowing me to be part of this anointed ministry and um, that I know Reverend Ani and she is a God for an anointed woman of God.